uh, for me, it's the first time playing on the water. So the water acoustic is different than concert hall acoustic. Uh, it's very, uh, it's of course, there are things that you need to adjust on the stage. I'm sure Maestro is also doing it with the orchestra. So uh, it wasn't very difficult to adjust to it. it it's, just, it's such a pleasure to be on the water. It's a different, it's a different feeling with a water surrounded you instead of just, uh, you know, the seats and everything. And it's also because the audience is so far away, so you're trying to really connect with them. So it's a long distance connection, but in the end, I think we make connections. <laughs> Place uh, connected with Russian history, with Russian culture, uh, and uh, the only classical music should sound here. Uh, it's firstly, secondly, uh, classical repertoire uh, uh, is so rich. Then we can do hundred uh, concert every day, and not to repeat the pieces. It's really uh, ocean of music. For me, it's important that young people come for classical music, for rock music, for pop music. They will come without me anyway. But uh, if 15,000 or 20,000 people and half of them young people come for this romantic place, especially come for classical. Uh, music, it means that we are winners and the, that we are on the right uh, way, right direction. Hemos venido esta noche a Gatchina porque vengo a, Pete a San Petersburgo muchas veces por trabajo y me he enterado que había este festival este fin de semana y la verdad que la combinación de noches blancas es casi la una de la mañana y hay luz del día, el lago, la música clásica. Ciertamente, pues hacen de esta combinación una experiencia muy, muy agradable y algo que realmente recomendaría a todos que, que pudieran ver.